Today we're shooting a full wedding behind the scenes. You are on top of my camera. You're gonna see how I shoot, how I direct, and the shots that we get. Here we go. Amazing. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. This looks incredible. Yeah, I'm his number one fan. So let's get a shot of you just looking out the window. Okay. Just like that. This isn't my good side, but we're gonna be fine. Okay. Lighting is a little harsh. I'm gonna try to use one of those curtains as a softener. Let's do your good side then. Let's... This is, yeah, that, this is my good side. By the way, I have no expectations. Okay. You're going to do great. You're gonna Am be I? awesome. Yeah. Okay. You're, uh, this is gonna be a breeze. Okay. okay. It's my job to make you look good. I trust so, you. Yeah. Okay. You saw how the engagement photos turned out. Yeah. Not all the experience I've had since then, even of better. Even better. Great. Big smile right here. Awesome. Tell them they are going to look amazing and they will. Where you're kind of like, like peeking through like, like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. there's my lover. Yep. <laughs> my Perfect. Let's get some shots. Um, of you like getting ready or like pretending to get ready? Yeah, we can go sit in one of the chairs. Love this. Yeah. <laughs> the snapping is giving me life. <laughs> All right. That was really good. Great. Keep that same energy. Uh, we're gonna get some video and some more up close. Okay, what should All we right. do for the video? Show off the ring. Keep, okay. Keep showing off that ring. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Awesome. Bottle. And then kind of like moving your hips side to side. Okay, okay. If you think we have a pretty bride, go woo! <laughs> Confidence is key. That's awesome. Uh, act like you're handing me your drink, but like turn it so I can see your ring. Perfect, like that. And, and, then, look. and then look away. That's awesome. Wow, Andrew! Have you seen the venue? Pictures. It's legit. Yeah, I bet. All right, are we ready? Yes. Big smiles right here. You record? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do one where everyone cheers. Basically, Angela, you just lift yours up. Everyone else meet you in the middle. Okay. Ready? Okay. Go. Woo! Make some noise. Woo! <laughs> yeah. That's good. And then you guys are just looking at each other, smiling. Really awesome. <laughs> Look at. Um, look at the person most likely to be an Instagram influencer. <laughs> look at look at the person who likes pineapple on their pizza. I love pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do too. I do too. I do too. That's hilarious. All right, look at the person getting married today. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, we are here at the venue where we are going to be photographing the details for the ceremony as well as the groom getting ready. Definitely have a love-hate relationship with these mirror welcome signs. If they're placed in the wrong spot, it's impossible to get a good photo of it. I always try to get some good flower shots to send to the florist. That's I need perfect. To back up those. 
Yeah, definitely. It's gonna at least match the masks. <laughs> Is this in the way? Uh, I don't think so. A little bit. So like, try and video through them or something. Create a little bit of like. They <laughs> pull it. Mmm, boca leaf. If we can like bring one. Ooh, that looks nice, even on the GoPro. All right. Ring shot. Awesome. All right, you can only reply yes or no. All right, I'm gonna say some things. Pineapple on pizza. No. No. Sushi. No. Oh. <laughs> Lucy Grossman right now, bro. To get a guy to genuinely laugh, you have to get his buddies involved, and that's exactly what we did here. The yes or no prompt ends up getting everybody involved and it somehow splits the room in half every time, especially when you're saying things like pineapple on pizza or sushi. Half of the people usually hate sushi, half of the people love sushi. You definitely end up stirring up the emotion in the room, which ends up with people laughing. <laughs> and like adjust your watch a little bit. Yep, just like that. Chris, this would be really good if you back up. Make sure you get like his watch in here. Maybe. Yeah. And straighten out your tie. Looks so good. Um, we're gonna get a couple times of you buttoning your jacket, letting your hands down, and then unbuttoning it, letting your hands down. So just keep repeating that. So button your just one button. Go for it. Yeah, I typically only spend like five or ten minutes with the guys because it's just so easy. Hands down. Perfect, and then unbutton it. Put your hands down. Same thing. Just do it like two, two or three more times. I'm gonna get up close. Go again. Okay, everyone, eyes right here. One, two, three. Big smiles. Good. I asked Carissa, my second shooter, to shoot this one because she had the 85. Okay, a few more. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, I want everyone to look at the person most likely to get two girls' phone numbers at the bar in one night. <laughs> this prompt always gets the whole entire group looking around, laughing, that's why I like it. <laughs> yeah, we're good here. Make sure you get those dress shots and hanger shots. And then look at me as you adjust your... Perfect. Can you do your, uh, that one? Yeah, yeah. Don't be afraid to move benches or pieces of furniture if they're getting in the way of your perfect shot. Perfect. And then right there. And then Bryce, come over here. We have second shooter Carissa Conroy over here shooting the most random photo, but it turned out kind of sick, not gonna lie. Perfect. Just leave it like that. Um, actually, before I show my bracelet, I want to do my first. Angelie, are you ready? ready. Alright, do you want to count it down, Angelie? Sure. Three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs>
All right. Perfect, perfect. New location, we decided to go inside on this couch. Awesome, right here. Amazing. I'm gonna get one straight on from this side. This is one of my favorite shots of the day. And then look right here. You look amazing. Thank you. Oh, that's um, that's literally the vision I wanted. Really? Yeah, that's okay. amazing. Awesome. Oh, Andrew, high five. Yep. <laughs> one, two, three. Perfect. And then let's have you look down at your bouquet. And then just um, like a serious face. Yeah. I actually really love this shot. After we did that shot, I ended up shooting this, but I don't have GoPro footage of it, unfortunately. Basically, you ask the bridesmaids to make a flower crown around the bride. <laughs> So we had a few minutes before the ceremony actually started, so we snuck away and got the reception details before everyone gets in there, because that's really important, and they had just finished setting everything up. So we usually start this really wide, meaning we get the big wide shot first, and then we narrow into the small details, meaning specific tables and then things on the tables. That's typically how I shoot it. Coffee catering? Yes, please. Yep. All right, it's ceremony time. Starting off with the groom walking down. So shooting everyone from the front right side well, left, depending on how you look at it, but opposite side of whatever side the groom is standing on. So that way when the bride comes down, I'm not in the way and he can have a nice clean view of his bride walking down the aisle. We are on the opposite side, not in between them. That would be absolutely terrible. So yeah, we're kind of over here getting a shot of him. And then when she's kind of farther back, like right now, we're getting his reaction. So he's seeing her for the first time. And then we turn and we get her coming down. Bride has just arrived to the front. Now it's our time to dip out to the back. Vamos a hacer una oración. Pedirle al Señor. Second shooter, Carissa, got this shot while I was up there. I 
typically like to get at least one super wide shot right in the very beginning. I typically try to get all my essential shots out of the way within the first like three minutes, meaning those wide shots, those close up shots, everything, just the details and flowers and everything like that. Um, and then I just stay attentive, whatever's happening, I'll get creative shots like this. First kiss is almost always immediately after the ring exchange. Mr. and Mrs. Lopez, you may now kiss your wife. Okay, so all bridal party groomsmen and bridesmaids partner up with the person you walk down the aisle with. Okay. All right, let's And then we can probably have two couples sitting um, on the couch, and then everyone else kind of standing in the back. Okay. So I did end up turning off my GoPro because I was running out of battery pretty quick, but these are the shots I got. Um, yeah, all pretty basic. Also got some sick photos of these nachos. Uh, this is also a great time to do individual portraits with each one of their bridesmaids, just them and their bridesmaids, just him and his groomsmen. I'm not going to show you all of them because you get the point. Go for a kiss. Do one more. Uh, do like a lean back kiss. Oh, like so, a, so like oh, dip her a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I'm clumsy. Just dip her a little bit. No, just make sure it's fine. Uh, let's see one where you guys are holding hands, walking towards me. Bryce, you're recording, right? Looking at each other. Look at each other, just like that. And one, two, three. Let's do one more just for safe measure. Bryce, just go up high and then let it go softly. Ready, one, two, three. Perfect, uh, come over to the other side. Don't move at all, Angeli. All right, right there. And then basically chest to chest, but now just on this side. Yep, like that. And then rest your head into her exactly like you just did. So your forehead into her temple. No, you, Michael. Michael? 
your yeah. forehead into her temple. Like that, perfect, just like that. Hold that. Amazing, oh my gosh, this looks incredible. You guys. Yep, keep holding that. And then give her a kiss on the temple and then Angelie, close your eyes. Hey, double check these. Wow. I'm amazing. No, I'm just kidding. You guys look so good. You are. <laughs> Hold, do that exact same pose you just did. Oh yeah. Real quick, just go forehead to forehead, nose to nose. Okay. Perfect, yep, grab her by the waist. Amazing. Bryce, watch out. And then Krista, your shadow. Right there, perfect. Oh my gosh, you guys. Then Bryce, stay right here, let it get wide. All right, and walk towards me, looking at each other. Right there. And then perfect. Hold that. Is that okay? Yeah. You tell us. Yeah, you look amazing. Thanks. Go forward to forehead. And then go for a kiss. Perfect. I want you guys to uh, stare at me, but snuggled up just like you are. On the count of three, I want you to say the color you think he's gonna say. You're gonna say the color that you think she's gonna say. Don't don't share colors. Okay. You gotta guess. Let me, let me think about that. You got a color? He's gonna say, I have to say it out loud. You have to guess the color that the other person's gonna say. Okay. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Let's do it one more time. So Ready? What? <laughs> that's so. That's super specific. Ready? One, Again, two. Again, the same color. No, different color. Oh, different color. You got one? Uh, yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Green. <laughs> <laughs> kind of centered. Both you guys sit here. You're on your good side. I like this side. Yep. Be careful. Actually, both you guys just look at me real quick. I'm gonna go super wide real quick. I want you to whisper your favorite vegetable in her ear in a dirty voice. He does have a few, so. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> and then. Perfect. And then can you just uh, like whisper your favorite vegetable in her ear again? In a sexy voice? <laughs> in, a, in a very sexy voice. <laughs> I typically don't repeat prompts, but she was having a fun time with it, so I did. <laughs> awesome. And then let's have you hug her upper chest right there. Now. And then, <laughs> and then uh, can you maybe set your flowers on the bench or on your lap or something? And then hold his hands like that. Perfect, just like that. This is a really good portrait. Check. Which one do get, I look get, at? Get from like this one. <laughs> look angle. at him almost always. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love and this. Then stay there when he's done. Got it. Here, I'm gonna run up there and then we'll leave. Where? He's gonna go up there. Oh wow! You're staying down here. Okay, okay. Eagle eye. But I need you guys up. We're gonna position you right here. She's on the left. We're going up the stairs. 
Where, where are the stairs? Right there. Yep. So we're going up the stairs right now. We're going to get a shot from Vantage Point. And it's going to be super dope. Here we go. Oh, there's also these stairwells that are super pretty. I don't think we have time though. It's, that's a problem. We got so little time. All right, here we are. Okay, and then guys, just go uh, forehead to forehead, nose to nose, just like if you were. Hold that. Perfect. Go for a kiss. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Let's head out. That's a wrap. Let's wrap for here, anyway. Yeah. So what's next? Now we're going back and we're partying. Partying, partying, yeah. Partying, partying. Hey, let me get a really wide shot. So they're having their first dance right here. Sometimes I'll just stay right here because I want that background and I'm hoping they're gonna do a slow turn, but sometimes they don't. In this case, it didn't look like they were even starting to turn. So I went ahead and just uh, repositioned myself to be on the other side of them because I really want that nice shot that I'm about to show you. <laughs> Real quick, I wanna to touch on when to use flash and when not to use flash. For me personally, certain times I try not to use flash unless it's absolutely necessary. The first dance is definitely one of those times. I want to be as in invasive as possible. I don't wanna be flashing off pops of flash every five seconds while they're having their first dance. So cameras with high ISO capabilities like the camera I'm shooting with, the A7R3, A7 III, all from Sony um, great for low light and it looks pretty clean so if you can try not to use your flash unless the photo is gonna be complete garbage without it I'll let my Sony a7 III get as high as like 5,000 6,000 ISO before I put a flash on people spend a lot of time and money investing in making their wedding look and feel a certain way and capturing the true ambience and the true way that the wedding actually looked I feel is more important than having a super non grainy shot because personally my style is also very like rustic so it's okay to have a little bit of grain in there sometimes I'll even add grain because I think it looks cool it looks kind of like a style got this photo right after their dance and then that was pretty much it so the GoPro pretty much ran out of juice but here's some extra shots I got the cake cake cutting um, coffee, latte art, and then we just basically did some extra photos because the reception was super short. I think it was only like two hours. So we basically just had their first dance, cake cutting, food, and then it was pretty much over. So we went and took some extra photos, um, as you can see here. So hold hands right there. Walk straight towards the tree right in front of you. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Yep. Awesome. This is the last photo we took. It's uh, kind of like a closing shot. It has the just married on her jacket. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is a wrap. Um, if you enjoyed this, feel free to give it a follow, give it a like, subscribe, all that jazz. Check out the uh, links in my description for 
you know, more info, my Instagram, you can DM me with any questions or videos that you guys want to see in the future. Um, happy to help. I love sharing all this stuff. It's the best job in the whole world. And, uh, there, there's a big need for better photographers out there and photographers that really care about what they do and, uh, providing exceptional service. And that's what I'm here to do and share and help you guys with. Thanks so much.